If nothing were to be done, the program would be short by an additional $70 million next year. Today, the board discussed different ways to increase rates and benefit changes to bring revenue for the program up. Secretary of Education Johnny Key was in the legislature back in 2013, the last time the insurance plan program was at a critical level, and he sees a lot of similarities between then and now. So what you are looking at now is um, kind of a, what I would consider a repeat, and it's all based on what we're seeing with the experience and the utilization in the in the plan. We don't have the ability to close the gap with the options that are available to this board. Secretary Walther says that utilization of the program is on premature births, which are very expensive and constrain the plan as a whole. There are enough cases in a short period. The board has asked the Department of Education to ask for a $35 million allotment from the reserve fund to help float the program through next year. The board will make a decision on what the rate increases will be next year when they meet again in two weeks. Reporting in the newsroom, Hannah Campbell for Region 8 News.